Hello everyone, welcome back. Solar energy is one of the most abundant natural form of energy. We can generate electrical energy using solar energy. So how we generate electrical energy? Through solar cells or solar panels, we generate electrical energy. So this is a huge problem with solar cells, the efficiency. The efficiency of solar cells are very less. So it depends on the semiconductor it's used and it's mainly depend on the chemistry of that solar cells. So today I am here with for a solution of efficiency. Here we have used mechanical and electronics to solve that efficiency problem. We are increasing the efficiency of solar cells using mechanical principle and electronics. This system tracks the sun means where the sun is having more brightness so this system follows the sunlight so that we get maximum power from the solar cells this system is equipped with 4 LDR sensor which is light dependent resistor so how does it work depending on the sunlight it resistance uh, decreases or increases so uh, this this part is equipped with 4 uh, different directions it is equipped with LDR sensor Depending on the uh, sensor, which sensor is getting more intense uh, light, so the system will turn to that sensor, uh, that side. So how does it turn? Using servo motors and one motor, DC motor, we are going to make it possible. What are all the components required? Mainly Arduino Nano, solar panels. These are all 6 volt solar panels and LDR, light dependent resistor, buck converter. LM2596 buck converter, L293 motor driver and A20 motors and MG995 servo motor and some piece of uh, wires, breadboard, jumper cables and mainly this is SMPS. This is 12 volt 1 amp SMPS. The whole system is powered through SMPS which converts 220 volt AC into 12 volt DC. Through power jack, I am going to power this one. So the 12 volt is converted to 5 volt using buck converter. This buck converter power the whole system like Arduino, servo motor and motor driver. Uh, Arduino Nano which is a microcontroller acts as a brain for this project and two servo motors which is a high torque servo motor to get a pan tilt action and a DC motor to rotate the solar panels and four LDR sensor light dependent resistor to get the light intensity. And to measure the voltage generated by the solar cell, solar panels, we are using digital voltmeter and ammeter. So without any delay, let's see how it works. I'm going to turn on the power supply. Yeah. So when we get all the four sensors are getting uh, sunlight, like right now we are getting most light. So it will open this one. When I give shadows to the sensors, it will close. And open again, it will open again. So, I will give a normal torch light. So, let's see will it follow or not. It's following. It's following. Let's analyze the circuit. 12 volt from the SMPS is reduced to 5 volt from a connector. It is given to Arduino Nano, motor driver, and servo motor. And a switch, a limit switch, which will stop the rotation of the solar panels. It is connected to digital pin 4 of Arduino. And motor driver is controlled by digital pin 2 and 11 of Arduino. Motor driver is controlling the DC motor, it's a 20 motor specifically we used here to get the rotating action and these four are LDR sensor, LDR sensor. these are our LDR, since this is a register, so I have written a register symbol one side of the LDR is given to 5 volt, another terminal is given to A0 pin which is an analog pin of Arduino Nano with that one, in addition of that one, we are using 10 kilo ohm register with this pin and connecting that to ground. All for all four of this area, there is the same connection. 
ए नॉट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री टोटल फोर अनालॉग इनपुट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम एल डी आई सेंसर एंड सर्व मोटर आर कनेक्टेड टू डिजिटल पिन सिक्स डिजिटल पिन नाइन विच आर पीडब्ल्यू एम सिग्नल थ्रू पीडब्ल्यू एम सिंग सिग्नल ओनली वी कैन कंट्रोल सर्व मोटर एंड दिस इज सोलर पैनल विच इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दिस सर्क्यूट सो इट इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट सर्क्यूट हियर टू सोलर सेल्स विच इज सिक्स वोल्ट एंड सिक्स वोल्ट आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज सो दैट वी गेट ट्वेल्व वोल्ट विच इज कनेक्टेड टू वोल्ट मीटर एंड अनदर टू आर दे सोलर सेल्स एज यू सी दे we will connect that in parallel so we will get somewhat more uh, ampere so voltage 12 volt and more ampere so we are using uh, series and parallel connection both the whole system is 3d printed so we used polylactic acid filament to make this project uh, the code schematic 3d model all the details related to this project will be getting in the description below so if you like this project please like share and subscribe thank you for watching let's meet in the next project